So, let's take a look at a bizarre question that invariably comes up during any discussion of the Shakespeare authorship issue, made even more bizarre by the fact that it's often even heard from Stratfordians. Well, what does it matter who wrote the works of Shakespeare so long as we have those glorious works themselves? So what other creative artists do you say that about? Doubting Shakespeare's authorship is a form of mental illness. For me, that question, what does it matter who wrote them as long as we have them in itself, proves the validity of the Shakespeare authorship question. Because, yes, who else does anyone say that about? No one. And especially not when, on the other hand, they claim there's no doubt about the artist's identity. Here are things you never hear. Maestro, what is your favorite piece of music to conduct? Ah, uh, no question. The Ninth Symphony, Ode to Joy, gives me goosebumps. <laughs> uh, who composed that one again? I don't know. Some guy, I guess. What does it matter? What's your favorite painting? Uh, Starry Night. It's so full of passion and it's so powerful. Well, who painted that one? Uh, who cares? So yet again, among all creative artists in history, an exception has to be made for Shakespeare and Shakespeare alone. To the, to the rules we normally apply to any other human being. Uh, you're the director of this art museum. Mm -hmm. Why don't you take all the names off all of the artworks? Because what does it matter who did them as long as we have the works themselves? That's stupid. Okay, well, how about this? How about you take all, all the information about the artists off, because how can that possibly add to our enjoyment or understanding of the art? <laughs> Is this for real? Always an exception for Shakespeare. And yet we're not allowed to ask why that is. Well, let's take that, that position to its logical conclusion. Let's stop writing biographies. Let's take all the names out of history books, because what does it matter who did anything as long as things happened? Frankly, it looks to me like the people who say, what does it matter who wrote them as long as we have them, are inadvertently revealing their own doubts about their own position, or at least are hedging their bets in case some inconvenient document shows up in an archive somewhere. Oh, sorry, but by the way, I can't help noticing that the people who say, what does it matter who wrote them, somehow always manage to put their own names and biographies in their own articles and books.